Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are gonna learn about in range function. This function is very important and similar to the threshold function which we have learned before. You can also watch that video before starting maybe. Uh, the both function in range and threshold are just filtering the image pixel values according to the input we are giving. Uh, there are two major differences I see between these two functions. One of them is in the threshold we are just able to give a limit value and uh, uh, let's say 150 we are giving as input to the threshold and above this is gonna be equal to let's say uh, the white pixels 255 let's say and the lower than 150 is gonna be equal to zero which is representing the black pixels let's say. Uh, this is one thing threshold is doing but in the in range function you are able to give an interval let's say you are not only giving 150 but you are also giving 100 let's say so you want to you want the pixels between 100 and 150 so you are able to give an interval instead of a, only a limit value okay this is the one difference and the second one uh, in the threshold you are only able to give input images as single channel images grayscale images you can only give but in range function you can also give rgb kind of three channel images you are able to give as input these are two major differences between these two functions okay uh, these are the parameters this function is taking uh, the, the first one is the input image and this, these two parameter following are the intervals we are gonna represent in here will be more understand clearly this lower and the upper boundaries and we will understand more clearly in the code part and this is the destination image which are, which we are gonna get at the end okay uh, here we have our lena image which we always using and let's say okay sorry let's say we want to get the only this part is uh, according to the pixel values we want to filter this area how we are gonna do that let's look at little bit in this area just focus on this part and i am focusing okay the red values are just changing between 200 to 255 let me take note in here red values okay uh, they are approximately changing in this area let's see the green and the blue let's focus the green first they are changing uh, from 100 to from 100 to 155 i see green values okay i see like this and the last one is gonna be the blue values Let's check them also. The blue part is also changing 90 to 170 I see. Okay. This is how it looks like. Let's filter according to these values. They are just, uh, we are just approximating uh, how this function uh, working. Just I want to show. That's why I just take that area. You can check according to your cases. Okay. So let's create an output window. To see the output and uh, here let's create also an output im show this is gonna be our out mat and uh, here let's create also mat out and let's call our function which is in range function uh, first of all image is gonna be our input the scalar value we are gonna give the lower lower boundaries in here again uh, to remind First of all, even RGB is a standard, OpenCV backend is reading as BGR. So first of all, we need to give blue values, which is the lower one is 90, the lower green values is 100, and the red values is gonna be 200, which I'm reading from here. Okay. The upper boundary is gonna be the other side, the, let's say BGR again, 170, 155, and 255 is gonna be upper boundary and the destination image is gonna be out and my uh, function is done and okay everything seems fine let's see the result okay yeah not only filtering this area of course if there are other part because very similar colors to this area also around you see 
it's gonna be filter and it's gonna give the output so uh, in range function according to the uh, input uh, uh, the lower and upper boundaries you are giving it's gonna filter and it's gonna give output uh, a binary image we can say which is uh, just created by 0 and the 250 which is black and white pixels but by this you are able to see you are able to understand the white parts is between these interval values between this color and this color values so you can uh, after this you already have a have an image filtered image so you are able to know uh, the the pixel values which is created by between these intervals okay this function is very important as i said at the beginning also will be very useful in many projects so just i was i just wanted to talk in this video about this function see you in the next videos